Hello, hello, my beautiful Aries. Intuitive soul coach here with your June career reading. So welcome to my channel if you are new. And for all of you that are returning, I appreciate all of your likes, all of your subscribes. I'm so grateful to be able to tune into the collective energy of my beautiful Aries today and help you along your career path. So if you are interested in signing up for a personal reading, you can find that link in the description box below. And if you would like to sign up for a free reading, I do monthly drawings. You can find that link in the description box below. So today we'll be tuning into the collective energy of my beautiful Aries for the month of June 2021 for career. So we'll be doing a Celtic cross today. We'll also be pulling a spirit animal and a crystal as well to help you along your career journey. All right. So spirit, what does my beautiful Aries, what is the heart of the matter for my beautiful Aries regarding their career? Thank you. All right, we have the three of earth here. So we have the three of earth showing up here, right here in the heart of your matter regarding your career. The three of earth energy, and this is the three of cups, Aries. Uh, the three of cups is all about teamwork, uh, dedicated collaboration here. This is you working with uh, others to build your dreams here, community. It's possibly you even playing different roles if you are trying to build a business uh, on your own here, if you're trying to build some sort of entrepreneurship or uh, build something up from the ground up. This card represents you playing, you know, the marketer, the advertiser, the accountant, the, the one that gives the goods and the services or possibly even makes them. So it's definitely you are on your A game with collaborating and working with others at this time to grow and to build something that's prosperous, but it is taking uh, teamwork and it's taking persistence here is what I'm hearing. And a group effort is required at this time. So if you are trying to, again, build your business, if you're trying to promote, it is going to take the, oh, thank you very much spirit. It is going to take the guidance of others to help you at this time as well. Okay, and then your obstacle here, the challenge that crosses you is the three of air, the three of swords here. There's some sort of separation going on. So if you want teamwork, if you want that dedication, I feel like there is, there's some sort of conflict going on regarding your career at this time. So possibly for some of you, if you are feeling like you're not in the right position, uh, you want to get out of something and start something new. If you want to get out of the mundane nine to five job and there's something on the side that you've been wanting to progress into more. Uh, for many of you, if you are having some sort of separation or layoff in your current career, uh, but the three of air shows up and we'll clarify that energy here, but this is some sort of a loss. Uh, this is third party energy as well. I'm hearing that uh, if you are working in an environment where there is supposed to be team player action going on here, that people are being I almost hear the word catty or gossipy. There, there's just some dynamics going on at this time that you are feeling a little bit. I hear the word jealous. I don't know if this is your energy or somebody else's energy here within the work environment areas, but somebody is feeling left out of the picture is what I'm getting here. So we're clarifying the three of swords energy and uh, we have the seven of pentacles. You're trying to build, you're trying to build something here. Uh, Aries, you're trying to persist through these challenges, and this takes patience and planning. I feel like you've been trying to plant the seeds to grow something for a while. Uh, this is slow and steady results. So you're you're kind of at a crossroads right now thinking, which way do I want to go? Do I want to stay in the career that I'm in? Do I want to move forward in a new direction? Uh, because you want to move to calmer waters with the Six of Swords energy showing up here. The Six of Swords is you leaving the past behind. So whether this is you leaving a physical job, uh, if you are leaving a situation at, in a work environment behind, or you could possibly even be relocating and moving someplace else, moving within a company, uh, moving across seas here. Uh, the Six of Swords energy shows up, and this is all about um, transitioning into something 
more spiritually fulfilling. This is a journey that is better on your spiritual path, Aries. So if there's something that you've been contemplating that you'd like to do in a career, uh, this card is saying you are moving forward into something that's more aligned for your path, more aligned for your journey here. Uh, we have the Page of Cups. Yeah, you want to receive some sort of message or news uh, of something new, uh, it's something that fills your heart chakra. I'm feeling that you're not completely fulfilled in this situation. I am seeing some sort of work dynamic that is leaving you emotionally exhausted. Uh, and you want something that's going to lift you up a little bit more because, uh, yeah, the King of Cups in reverse here shows up. This is a, a drama king. There could be a lot of drama going on in the work atmosphere at this time. Uh, but somebody is very cold about a situation. This could be people that are untrustworthy as well within the work environment. Possibly a boss that's been telling you the same thing over and over, but you haven't been seeing results in a situation here. Uh, so that is us clarifying the three of swords. So that is the challenge in the situation here is just trying to try to open your heart uh, towards something that you really enjoy, that you really love and to not have so much drama. I'm de definitely seeing unwanted energies that they're serving nobody. There's, it's, there's no good. All right, so the foundation, what is below my beautiful Aries here? We have the magician. Okay, so what is below you? In the past here, uh, we have showing up. This is you tapping into the resources that you have. So you using your natural talent in a job situation or career situation, and you moving forward, believing in yourself, knowing that you can take this leap of faith into starting something new here. Uh, and they want me to actually go two more with this okay so how would you like this this okay so we have the eight of water showing up here as well uh this is the eight of cups you're walking away from something here in the past so yeah you wanted to start a new situation a new career uh either you're walking away again from some challenges going on here in the workplace that's left you either I, I'm hearing the word somebody got fired. I'm feeling there was just too much drama and somebody walked away uh, because we have the messenger of air as well. You received news in the past here that maybe wasn't the most positive. Again, I'm feeling a lot of a lot of unnecessary drama in a situation here. We have the messenger of swords here, the page of swords. This is you searching out possibly new job opportunities. This is you wanting to learn something new within, within the career parameters that are showing up here for you, Aries. I'm definitely getting that you wanna start something new. You're, you're wanting a new beginning and you wanna move forward instead of being stuck in the same situation here. So the past here, they want me to pa uh, clarify starting off with the King of Air. So. We're clarifying the past energy. The king of air shows up here. And this is somebody that is very, uh, okay. I'm getting this boss of yours in the past, uh, very almost hardcore. Uh, this could be you dealing with some sort of legal issues or just some sort of inequality or, or unfairness regarding a past situation in a career is what I am picking up on. Somebody's boss or somebody that thought they were higher up than possibly they really were with this uh, King of Swords energy. There was just some, somebody really wanted to do things very routine. Uh, Let's say you're in an office and there's a file cabinet and one file is out of place. I feel like you wouldn't hear the end about it. So definitely somebody that's very structured, very routine. You have to do things by the book. And you are just getting really sick of that energy is what I am getting here for you, Aries. Uh, but this is, this is going by the book energy here. Definitely somebody who's very judgmental in the past of every single little action. And they use their knowledge to manipulate in a situation. Uh, and this could be, this could be uh, the environment that I was feeling as well here. But I do feel that that was a specific person or a group of people that kind of made you feel like an outsider, Aries. Just kind of made you feel like the third party energy here. And they actually want me to clarify this King of Air in the past here. Spirit, can you please clarify the past energy of the King of Air for my beautiful Aries? All right. Thank you very much. 
All right, we have the page of cups again. So yeah, you received some sort of news. Somebody was gave you cold news. So this could have been a, all right, see you, goodbye. You messed up, you're fired, you're done. Uh, it could have been somebody, uh, you went in for a promotion or you went in uh, to try to change something within the environment is what I am getting. You wanted to switch things up and somebody was just very cold and strict about it with this page of cups uh, in reverse here. This is definitely somebody that's uh, emotionally, I feel like, I don't, I don't necessarily say emotionally immature, and this could be coworkers that you were with as well, but again, a lot of unnecessary drama in the past. I'll just leave it at that. Okay, so we, what is above my beautiful Aries here? What is the potential? We have the 10 of earth. Yeah, the potential for you is, Material abundance here, Aries, wealth and prosperity, building a legacy that is going to last into retirement, that's fulfilling, something that's not shaky. I'm hearing shaky foundation. So I feel like this uh, person of the past here, this king energy in reverse, this person was very in and out. Uh, maybe if they were a boss energy, they just weren't keeping their word is what I'm getting, or there was some sort of lack of communication. Uh, a boss would tell you to do this and you do it. And then they, you'd go back to the situation with what they had told you. And then they're like, no, no, I didn't tell you that. I told you to do it this way. And so there was a little bit of mind trickery is what I'm getting from that energy. But the potential here is you can go into a new solid job opportunity or career or even some sort of advancement within the same company. Or perhaps you are trying to build your own business here and we'll clarify that energy uh, but what i'm feeling is the ten of earth when we are thinking about the potential here that's one of the best cards aries that can come up in that position here it's all about financial security uh generosity i feel like somebody wasn't generous in the past here with either their time their money so you may have been constantly trying to email or get a hold of this person uh, or people and they just they didn't respond to you oh we have a lot of cards here okay wow spirit do you want all of them i'm hearing five one two three four five okay thank you so oh wow as i stop here they want me to go to that actually and put them with that okay so we have the five of wands showing up here in order for you i feel like for you aries to feel like this ten of earth energy that you're building a legacy or that something's solid and rocky you feel like you're competing with a lot of others so this could be you competing within the company or the business that you're in here this could be you competing if you are let's say you're a massage therapist or you're you're doing something that's a small mom and pop group here uh, you're trying to compete with other competitors that are out there but i feel like you are on your a game uh, but you need to focus that energy and that attention and that mind span Aries to something more positive because there's something, uh, the potential here, I feel like you've been waiting a long time with this eight of, eight of wands energy shows up here. And the eight of wands is all about you feeling stuck. There's a lack of direction here. You don't know exactly how to get to your 10 of earth. You don't know how to build that solid foundation that can lead you into retirement, that can be fulfilling because you feel like there's so much competition out there uh, and this could be I'm hearing uh, a lot of you applying for different places or even in your mind I'm seeing somebody's mind just being very scattered going from one extreme in a career to a whole nother extreme so for example you could be thinking oh I want to want to work in the legal field and then way over here you're thinking oh but I want to do body work so I'm, I'm seeing some of you completely switching uh, the game here regarding doing something that fills your passion a little bit more and not working in an environment that's cold and uh, doesn't, doesn't make you feel like a person. I feel like you're just a number is what I'm hearing here. Uh, but you're definitely, you feel stuck and you want direction on which way to move forward, Aries, so you can achieve that ton of earth. We have the Ace of Swords. You're going to receive some sort of clarity here. There's going to be a moment of truth revealed if there wasn't already, but I feel like the light bulb has gone off here. Uh, if you're feeling like things are cloudy or there's a little bit of confusion going on, uh, that's about to change because in your potential here, you have a lot of goodness. You have a lot of uh, 
a lot going on in your energy that's going to move forward, but you need to walk away from something first. So whether this is just you walking away from the drama Aries, or if it's you walking away physically from a job and relocating elsewhere to kind of get a new sense of scenery here, uh, because we have the Eight of Swords showing up here in reverse. And the Eight of Swords is all about uh, freeing yourself from a situation. This is release. This is also about um, you're not feeling tied down anymore. So this is the potential. This is what is above you, my beautiful Aries. So a lot going on here uh, in your mind. So that is beautiful energy. A lot going on, not just in your mind, but physically as well. I feel like there's a lot of decisions that you're working through at this time. There's a lot of choices going on here. And then uh, next we're going to clarify here, uh, what is what is the future for my beautiful uh, Aries here? So we have the nine of fire, and they want me to clarify here with those cards. So this is your future position here with the nine of uh, wands energy. This is the final push. You making that uh, determination to move forward in a difficult time, Aries, because you can get through this. This is having the spiritual strength, the courage, the discipline, the persistence to finish what you started. Don't give up, Spirit is saying, because you're almost to that finish line. So whether that is uh, you walking away again from a past situation in a career that uh, is leaving you physically where you need to move on, or if this is just you walking away from the drama in a work situation. But I definitely feel like there's a lot uh, turning and spinning at this time. Now we have the seven of water showing up. This is the seven of cups. You have options. There's a lot of options in your future. There's a lot of choices. This is also about you uh, daydreaming about what it is that will fulfill you. Uh, definitely fulfill you emotionally, spiritually, abundantly, successfully. Uh, but that long term, the 10 of earth, that is your potential here to withstand uh, going through into retirement, building that nest egg, adding to that nest egg here. Uh, but again, the seven of water showing up in your your future energy is beautiful because it, it is saying that you have a lot of different options and choices. You may be scared of making the wrong choice, Aries, but I feel like uh, as soon as you can just kind of focus on one specific thing, because I am seeing somebody's mind here, almost like on a hamster wheel where you keep spinning and you keep spinning, uh, but you feel like you're not getting anywhere. There's definitely that lack of direction going on. Beautiful energy. So to clarify the future potential here, we have the 10 of cups. Uh, the 10 of cups is all about emotional wealth. You are going to be turning a whole new direction, Aries. This is beautiful energy. You are going to feel fulfilled emotionally, like you actually belong. So you could be working where you feel more like family instead of just a number. Uh, you're going to be feeling fulfilled. People actually care about you. Birthdays roll around and you get surprise uh, gifts or surprise cards or just um, a, a sense of belonging is the energy that I'm picking up on here. I am seeing actually uh, new gifts. Uh, if you currently just got a job at a new place or if your birthday is or if there's some sort of celebration coming up here, Aries, uh, I'm seeing somebody putting a gift in your work environment or in your workspace. It's, it's almost like a congratulatory gift. So if you are waiting on news for a new career move or you're waiting on something positive or more emotionally fulfilling, I feel like you're going to get that uh, in your future here. And you're definitely, it's going to fill your cup with this 10 of cups energy. I'm also getting that Whatever it is in your future here is going to allow you to focus more on your family and spend more time with your family. So that could come in the form of uh, working different hours is what I am getting here, Aries. It could be working different hours that allows you to spend more time with your family currently. But it also could be that you're making uh, more money or it could be a health insurance I am seeing here. So some sort of insurance that covers the family. And I'm also seeing uh, something that's going to contribute to the long-term uh, financial longevity, such as you know an IRA or uh, some sort of 401 or financial plan that is going to help your family is the energy I'm getting here for the future potential. So if you already have this, that is beautiful, uh, but I feel like there is something coming up here that is gonna allow you to feel 
almost your heart's going to open up and you're going to almost have that yes feeling because we have the king of pentacles showing up here. Yeah, the king of pentacles is saying, you know what, Aries, we're going to give you the abundance, the prosperity, the generosity, and the stability that you crave, seek, and want. Uh, so this is right on your path. You have a lot of beautiful energy coming in here. Uh, this is you being a, a reliable leader or working for people that are reliable, Aries. Uh, this this energy is work their way to the top here. There's somebody that gives very good financial advice as well uh, and is good with their money, very disciplined as, as well. This could be you being, uh, whether you work in maybe financial advising or it could be real estate as well, real estate uh, brokerage is what I'm seeing, uh, business investing as well, but somebody that works very well with their money. So if you currently are in this role, you can expect it to be lucrative, very abundant and stable. And uh, we have the nine of wands showing up here. Yeah, this is you being at your best, Aries. The nine of wands shows up here. And again, I think we got this card earlier. Uh, but yeah, the nine of wands is you being at your personal best, you finding that motivation and that strength to move forward in a difficult time uh, in the past year. But you're finishing what you started and it's going to bring you great success. So beautiful energy uh, to clarify your future here. So we are just going to dive into... You, what advice are you giving to yourself at this time, my beautiful Aries? What advice is Aries giving to themselves at this time? Thank you, Spirit. Wow, yeah, you're listening to your intuition, Aries. You're listening to those spiritual little soft nudges that you are getting to move forward into a new direction. This is your own advice to yourself. Pay attention to any synchronicities, any signs, any numbers. I'm feeling for those of you that are currently looking for new employment, I feel like it's just going to show up randomly. It's not necessarily going to be, uh, let's say you're on Indeed or you're on uh, Monster.com or you're looking in the, you know, marketplace career or something like that. I feel like it's just going to, you'll be scrolling through something is what I'm seeing. And then boom, it's just out of the blue. And it might not be that job per se, Aries. But I'm feeling that uh, you might see, you might see somebody doing something, let's say on a Facebook page, uh, and they add they're advertising for what they do, and you're thinking, wow, that person travels a lot, or they're able to do this, or wow, is that MLM business really making uh, as much money as they say? Uh, and it, it's not so much. It's you looking at something from a whole new perspective, and if you are trying to build your business or you're an entrepreneur as well. It's saying, listen to your intuition at this time. So this is the advice that you are giving yourself. So they do want me to clarify this energy here, although intuition is intuition, but I'm also seeing um, numbers. So for some of you, if you are seeing the 1111, or if you are seeing 444, or any specific number sequence, even if you're waking up at a certain time, Pete, do you want this one? Okay, thank you. Yep, you're going to receive news here. As I was stating earlier, this is you receiving some sort of news confirmation or news feed uh, synchronicity that is going to pop up here for you. Do you want any more on that one? Nope, I'm hearing that is enough. Okay, so what I am also picking up on this page of Pentacles energy for you here, Aries, is this is you manifesting a new financial or physical opportunity. It's It could be information on... Uh, you're receiving a message either on a raise, you're receiving some sort of rebate, uh, tax incentive. I know that there's uh, some new new things up in the air with the government as well, but I feel like you could be receiving money that's going to help you out, help you in this position where you're able to move forward and listen to that intuitional nudge that's been kind of whispering in your ear for a while. That I, I don't want to say you've been ignoring it here, Aries, but maybe you've been tied to something here or there's just been drama in the past that you haven't necessarily been able to follow that and it could be money matters as well uh, especially with everything going on in the world where you feel like you have to stay in a position but i feel like that's about to change you're definitely bringing in stability you're bringing in a whole new way of 
uh, emotional fulfillment here is what I'm seeing. I love this energy because we definitely went from the king of air in the past to, I thought we had another uh, king here. Okay. We may have gotten that with the other deck here. I think we did get the King of Pentacles in here. So now we are going to clarify what are my beautiful Aries, the external influences. What is going on in your outer world at this time? What is going on in your outer world? I'm hearing um, J Johnson, J Jacob Johnson, I believe, um, whether this is a boss. I feel like this is somebody that's higher up. This could be you. This could be a spouse uh, or something with Johnson as well. So I feel like J Jacob and Johnson could be separate, uh, but I feel like something with Johnson. So I don't know if this is a place that you work at or if it's the name of a business. It could be a last name. It could be your first name as well. Uh, thank you, spirit. It's just, it may not resonate with everyone. It obviously probably won't, uh, but if it does, it's just saying pay attention here because this is your external influence. We have the seven of fire showing up here. This is the seven of wands. Yeah, this is you living on your terms, Aries. This is you living life on your terms, non-conforming to what other people think or expect. You know, earlier we got living by the book here with this past energy. You know, you following somebody else's rules, you working for somebody else possibly, uh, or at least you having to do things in a routine structure. And I have here the external uh, influences here is the seven of fire. It's again, it's you wanting to live life on your terms, not by everybody else's. And you possibly need to needed to stand your ground in a situation is what I'm feeling here. But you're going the distance. You're defending your own self, whether this is defending your personal power within a work environment, whether this is you taking that next step up here, but you're definitely at your personal best. You're standing your ground here. You're living life on your terms and you're not putting up with any BS is what I'm picking up here for you. So Aries, we're going to clarify this energy for your external influences here. And I feel like it's not only you doing that. I feel like other people surrounding your career are kind of doing the same. And that may be a piece of why there's a little bit of drama going on in the past here. I feel like people are butting heads uh, because I feel like they're, I, I'm seeing a bull, two different bulls kind of ramming heads because I'm getting, they have the same energy as well because there needs to be, somebody has it their way or the highway mentality in a situation. And I'm feeling like you're thinking, well, it could work better. You know, it could work this way. Can't you just open your eyes uh, and see the bigger picture here instead of just thinking this one way one one way of thinking all right we have the four of pentacles showing up in reverse uh so yeah the four of pentacles is somebody feeling pretty careless uh possibly with their money fear of losing money in a situation so i feel like this could be tied up to the past uh, so there could have been financial or budget cuts as well is what I'm getting with this four of pentacles. And this even could be your energy as far as you wanting to hang tight to your savings, be very frugal, not spend uh, as much as normal because of you're not sure where you'll be in a couple months from now. Uh, the four of pentacles shows up again is somebody wanting to hang almost too tight onto something. And this could be hanging on too tight to their pride is what I'm getting as well. I'm not feeling that's your energy, Aries. It certainly could be, but I feel like it is tied up to this king of air energy. Definitely somebody with a high ego here that speaks what's on their mind and it's not always uh, the best. So they do want me to pull uh, a couple more cards regarding these external influences here. So Spirit, what other external influences uh, or surroundings is my Aries? Thank you. Wow, okay. So we have the emperor showing up here. So the emperor energy, whether this is yours or this uh, oftentimes does represent a boss or somebody higher up on the, the totem pole, so to speak. But this is somebody of authority. This is leadership. Uh, somebody who's very disciplined, firm foundation, very dominant. It could be, again, arrogance is what I am picking up on uh, with this king of uh, air energy in the past. Uh, but somebody who's very cutthroat, logical, uh, makes decisions based on the the company. So if this is you, 
and you're the one that's having to either fire people or let go due to budget cuts, that certainly could be the case. But what I'm feeling here is this is somebody's energy of, uh, I feel like if you're asking why, why are they this way or why did they act that way? I'm definitely hearing money, money, money. Uh, I know we are doing a career read, but money is uh, definitely on the mind of this emperor here. Uh, and they're making choices based on the needs of the company. And it's not necessarily the, the emotional needs based on those around them is what I'm feeling here. Yeah. And then we have the Knight of Wands energy. And this is the Knight comes in here with the energy of somebody's taking rapid action towards a situation. And I feel like this is you. You have some sort of passion regarding a situation, Aries. I feel like this is your energy coming in here. Um, it could be somebody else as well trying to rush in. Okay, I, I'm actually getting two different scenarios here, which I'll explain. I feel like somebody in the workplace is very in and out. And I am not seeing this as you as much as I am uh, just other coworkers, or this could be somebody that you're working with here. Uh, but the Knight of Wands, the energy I'm getting is uh, somebody who could be possibly very lazy, doesn't want to do their job, uh, has commitment issues. There are rush, you know, rushes into things without really thinking or doesn't do the job right. And it kind of, kind of makes you mad, Aries. You're like, you know what? <sighs> I'm sick of doing everybody else's BS. I'm sick of all this drama. I'm sick of everything being laid on me. You're, you've been hired to do a job, get the job done. But this is somebody who might be a little bit younger, a little more cocky and thinks that the world owes them uh, is what I'm picking up on. So uh, somebody of higher authority, whether this is you or whether this is a boss, I feel is very, and they may actually be so high up within a position here where they're not seeing what's going on here. So if this is work energy going on here, this could be people that you work with, uh, just that in and out, not reliable, uh, and somebody could be missing missing what's going on. And in the past, you've tried to explain that, and uh, I feel like it's just not getting through to you, and you're feeling exhausted in the situation. So, all right, we are going to find out here what my beautiful Aries, what your hopes and dreams are regarding your career. What are my beautiful Aries hopes? and dreams or hopes and excuse me hopes and fears well i like the hopes and dreams better your hopes and dreams we'll clarify both here so we're clarifying the hopes and dreams first yeah we have the page of air showing up here excuse me the page of air energy this is you waiting on some sort of message with the, the page of swords energy is you are curious you are you want to learn something new. You want some sort of message that brings good news to you regarding a new opportunity is what I'm, this is what you're hoping for. You're hoping somebody comes in and gives you some good news, Aries. You're wanting either that raise, that promotion, that move forward in the next direction. Uh, you're wanting good news. If you're looking for a job, you're waiting for that employer to call you back and say you've got hired for this job. You're waiting uh, to climb the ranks and build that stability here. Um, and at the same time, and we will pull more cards on this as well, uh, but I am being told in reverse as well. So at the same time, one of your fears is you're not going to get that message that you've been waiting on uh, with the page of error. I feel like because we have the king of air in the past here, it could be you're waiting on a message from somebody of the past, a boss or some sort of employee. I feel like there again was that drama that sort of happened here. And you could be waiting to hear if possibly, you know, maybe trying to set yourself up for unemployment or trying to hear if you did get fired because of the situation or uh, I don't feel like it's that extreme. It may be for some of you. But I, I feel like you're waiting to hear either good news or bad news, uh, regardless of a situation. And let's clarify that more here. All right. So this is my beautiful Aries hopes and fears. Whoa. All right. Thank you. Thank you, spirit. Okay. Yeah. So we have the five of a pentacle showing up here. The five of pentacles is uh, financial recovery. This is... Um, this is some sort of financial and material changes. So it could be it could be a job loss, but I feel like you are having renewed faith. There is uh, an end of a hardship showing up here for you. So as far as your, your hopes go, you're hoping that this hardship ends. You're hoping that you can kind of 
put this behind you and move forward in a positive direction here because I do like to see this show up uh, in reverse, especially if we are clarifying your hopes and fears here because I'm seeing that the end of hardships is coming coming in for you. If you feel like it's been dramatic in the past here, this is showing up saying, Aries, you're moving forward, but we get the five of wands energy showing up again. I think this is the first or second, or excuse me, second or third time um, that we've gotten this card here for you, but this is all about competition again, uh, the five of wands. But I'm hearing put yourself out there, and I just heard somebody say, I have been. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, putting yourself out there. Uh, but what I'm hearing with that is putting yourself out there in circumstances, situations, or events that you normally wouldn't, okay? Aries, so if you normally aren't, let's say, a networker or somebody that goes to job fairs or somebody that goes to conventions or listens to speakers, something like that, um, I'm feeling put yourself out there because, again, I'm hearing uh, you'll be at the right place at the right time and pay attention to those synchronicities, those messages that come through for you, Aries. Uh, even though you may feel like there's a lot of competition out there, you are at your personal best. You have what, what it takes. You have a lot, Aries, that, that you can offer to bring to others is the sense I am getting, especially, you know, when this five of wands shows up as well. Uh, this could be others trying to be very competitive as well. And it's just a reminder uh, that there is a need to work together and collaborate in a situation here. Uh, but I feel like some of your uh, some of your fears are that people aren't going to be able to work together. And there's going to be a, a lot of issues surrounding this. People aren't going to work together. They're going to be fighting, cutthroat. There's going to be words spoken. And, you know, it could leave you feeling a little bit chaotic. A little bit uh, challenged here is uh, your fears going on in the situation. All right. So we are going to clarify your final outcome, my beautiful Aries. Final outcome. What can Aries look for forward to as their outcome in their career for the month of June 2021? Uh, Spirit, can you please give us what my beautiful, thank you. And they want me to go again here. Thank you. And I'm hearing actually one more. Not with this deck. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. We actually have the eight of air showing up in reverse. And then we have the eight of, of earth showing up upright. So the eight of air, we have two eights here, which is uh, the strength energy but the Eight of Air, I'll clarify first here. The Eight of Swords, this is, again, new clarity in a situation. There, If you're feeling cloudy about what's going on here, if you're feeling like there's some sort of lack of direction going on, you're going to get uh, a message soon that is going to leave you learning something entirely new. This is the card of apprenticeship, of training, of building something solid, it could be physical labor as well. Uh, the Eight of Earth shows up here, and this is definitely uh, you putting the work into something, but it's the card of mastering your craft, mastering your skill. So for some of you, you could be you know, going through a trial period at a new job. This could be you building a new business here and you kind of starting from the ground up. Uh, learning new things that maybe you didn't know before in a situation. It could be for some of you, you're focusing on stepping up the ladder here. They want me to go back to this Eight of Swords energy. And this is, okay, Eight of Swords. Yeah, so the Eight of Swords is you're not feeling trapped in a situation anymore. Uh, the Eight of Eight of Swords is all about you kind of letting things go is what I am getting here. Okay. Um, you're coming out stronger because of this situation here in the past. Any mental blocks that you may have had, you're definitely moving towards freedom, Aries. The Eight of Air, I'm so happy that it did show up in reverse. If I see it coming out, I want to see it uh, coming. You're moving forward towards freedom. You're free from thought. You're being released. And I think we actually got this card in the upright, or excuse me, reverse position earlier. But yeah, the Eight of Swords goes beautifully with the Eight of Earth. So as your final outcome here, we are 
we're looking at you learning and mastering a whole new craft. This is all about, uh, it's a very fortuitous card as well for those that are in the art field, uh, design, interior decorating, music, education, teaching, uh, and for opening any businesses regarding any holistic uh, field as well. So if you are currently in an office setting here, or if you're doing something that's just um, too much drama for you, listen to your intuition, Aries. Listen to that small nudge. I will clarify this outcome because I love the energy of the eights. They actually want me to talk about that for a second. Um, so eights, eights is all about uh, strength. You know, eight is about you having the inner strength, the willpower, the courage, the being fearless, walking into a whole new opportunity or new perspective, because I feel like it's going to be fulfilling. So we'll clarify that energy here. Okay, and they also actually want me to add up these numbers. So we have uh, 8 and 8, 16. I'll break that down and that's 7. That's the card of the chariot, Aries. That's all about triumph and success, but it's about movement confidence and travel. So for some of you, you might be uh, traveling, you might be moving for a job. I feel as some of you actually might be moving different states as well. All right, Spirit, can we please clarify these double eights, double eight showing up in the outcome. It's a beautiful outcome. I love this for you, Aries. So I feel like uh, June, you're, you're leaving behind some caddy or some dramatic energy here. Oh, thank you, Spirit. All right. So we have, we have the Four of Pentacles and the Lovers in Reverse. So the Four of Pentacles, again, we did get that earlier. This is you managing your resources, but it's about you building up your financial stability, your financial power. This is you managing your money, Aries, and uh, definitely feeling a lot more in control about a situation is what I am picking up. Picking up. So if you feel like you either... Have lost out in the past regarding money you didn't get the raise you wanted uh, or maybe you lost a job that's about to change here because you are starting a new venture and then uh, the lovers shows up in reverse and this is all about choices the lover is a choice uh, it did show up in reverse so you are separating from uh, a past situation here going on so very clear clear energy it looks like you're moving away from some uh, a work environment that did didn't bring you a lot of that emotional success as well. And it could have been somebody that just thought of you as a number instead of an actual uh, person is what I'm hearing here. So we are actually going to pull a life purpose Oracle card here. And this may not resonate with everyone. Uh, obviously there's millions, uh, thousands of different jobs in the world here, but we will clarify here a life purpose because it will resonate, I feel, with a few. Thank you very much. All right, we have Builder. Okay, so Builder Energy. Your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. Builder. So Aries, this could be anything. This could be you building data on a computer. It could be you being a construction worker and physically building. This could be you being uh, an architect where you're building homes or anything to do with homes. This could be you, you building up your business at this time. Um, you know, Builder has so many different modalities that come along with it. So just take it as it resonates for you. But I, I am getting a general energy of you're building towards something entirely emotionally fulfilling at this time. So that is beautiful energy. I'm glad to see that card come through. So we are just going to wrap this up with a spirit animal oracle card for you. So I like to do this here, uh, Aries, if you could just close your eyes for a couple of uh, seconds here and think of a power animal or think of a spirit animal. What is the first one that comes to mind right now? Because this is a pretty large deck. There's a lot of animals in here and they're exotic animals. It can be anything. It doesn't just have to be your average bear, rabbit, uh, cat, dog, anything like that, but you think outside the box, but I also want you to really trust and use your intuition here, and I'd love for you to share it in the comments below, but we are going to pull spirit. What, uh, thank you, what animal will help my beautiful Aries along their career path for the month of June? Whoa, 
Holy moly. A lot of you, I thought there was just one, but a lot of you must have been uh, yelling out a bunch of different things. We have dolphin spirit. This and that are true. So dolphin spirit. So if any of you were thinking dolphin in your head, I'd love to hear that in the comments below. Dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusion. Beautiful dragonfly spirit. Okay, I'm getting a message coming in here as well. They want me to go to this high priestess card. So this is your intuition. This is what you're telling yourself in the moment, Aries. Listening to that intuition. I feel like any of these animals, because we did get quite a few of them. I think I said five. Um, I want you to pay attention if you see these come out, whether they just lands. We have the dragonfly. Whether you see a dragonfly uh, recently in your energy or if you're about to see that, pay attention to your thoughts or what's surrounding you at that time. Or, for example, dolphin energy. Let's say you turn on Netflix or turn on uh, some sort of streaming device and you see a dolphin jumping or or open a newspaper and you, or not so much a newspaper, maybe a magazine and you're seeing dolphin. Just pay attention to these animals that are coming up at this time. Owl spirit. You can see clearly now Aries, especially because there was a lot of cloudiness, a lot of stuck energy in the past, but you're being able to, you're seeing clearly. Electric eel spirit. I'd be really curious to see if I have any comments of any of my beautiful Aries that guessed electric eel. <laughs> Bring your ideas to life. I'm loving this. This goes with that intuition card as well. Aries, if you have an idea, bring it to life. Don't be afraid uh, that you won't be supported. You will be supported in this. Spirit does have your back. And then beautiful lion. Lion spirit. Be generous. Of spirit. Yeah, be generous. Lion spirit. Okay, Aries. So again, we have dolphin, dragonfly, owl, electric eel, and lion. Beautiful energy. All right. So one last thing to wrap up this June career reading. Uh, Aries, I am going to pick a crystal for you here and, uh, I, my eyes are closed, so I don't ever know which ones I'm going to pick here. All right. We have Herkimer diamond. So you can see this beautiful Herkimer diamond here. The Herkimer diamond is all about clarity. This is all about, uh, this could be past life as well. Uh, cell memory. But it's about channeling and connecting to spirit. And it's about uh, astral travel as well. So it does go hand in hand with this high priestess card here, Aries. So again, uh, if there's a Herkimer diamond, and I know we hear that sometimes, you know, in jewelry. But the Herkimer diamond comes in to help you with your uh, path, having a clear vision moving forward. So if you have stones at home, you can work with this one as well. Uh, if you don't have it, that's totally okay as well. You can just, uh, when you do your meditation, maybe focus on a Herkimer diamond, but very beautiful energy. So my beautiful Aries, I hope this resonated with you. If so, please hit that like and subscribe button. I am so grateful for all of your beautiful energies. Sign up, please, for the free reading. I'd love to draw your name. You can, again, find that link in the description box below. And happy June. I look forward to connecting next time.